when we have ideas, when we produce results with our ideas, people see that and they're going to want to take those ideas and use them and plant them and grow them. And they will, right? That's because good ideas are spread through the fruit that they produce. And the bottom line is we are all like trees, putting our ideas into the seeds that we share with the world through the fruit of our lives. So I want you to consider this though. The focus is not the fruit. The focus is not the idea inside the fruit. The focus is taking care of the tree, which is ourselves. Because when we do that, when we give our own heart the fruit that it needs, when we are patient with our own thoughts, and when we're kind to our own mind, and we give ourselves a chance and a second to actually explore the depths of our own heart and what we find intriguing and interesting in this world, when we do that, something awesome happens. We begin to produce more fruit than we need. So first, yes, we do get to have the fruit that we want, so we finally get to enjoy the fruits of our labors instead of merely working for someone else's profit, but then we also have extra to share with others, right? And then we'll have extra time then, after we've taken care of ourselves, to transform some of that adversarial, those adversarial uh, entities or, or, or difficulties in our life into something that is helpful to us. So I want to leave you with these last few thoughts. Basically, we can cultivate this power plant that is our mind by giving our imagination the time and acceptance it needs to grow ideas that we most truly cherish. And when we do that, that inner child that's within every single one of us will give us, in return, the most beautiful display of life that we could ever imagine. But how do we do that? What is, this, what is the, the nuts and the bolts, the, the, the black and the white, the symbol on this? This is it. We give our imagination time, money, resources, all of those things to actually sit with these ideas we come up with. And then don't forget to surround yourself with people that will support you in your journey, that will support you in discovering what you are truly meant to do with this life in this world right here and right now.